Hi, I'm Dan Seidberg, president of I Am Responding. I'm here today with Mike McDaniels from our sales team, and we're going to talk a little bit more about regional deployments and how regional deployments in, in of I Am Responding can better help in dealing with large-scale incidents outside of just the single fire department uses of I Am Responding. So, Mike, can you talk to us a little bit about the benefits of I Am Responding for EMA and other regional coordinators? Yeah, Dan, thank you. Uh, one of the things I've noticed for a long time now is that people tend to think of us as a single incident responder notification system and I really want to point across that our system could really be beneficial on those large-scale incidents for example flooding tornadoes uh, where EMA is now going to step up and get involved because that's that level of incident so with that they actually have access to our dispatch screen as well as the dispatch center so from that screen they can actually see who they have available, what department apparatuses are available, and then more importantly, we offer those chat features where now they can communicate with each other off radio because for any of us that have ever experienced this, uh, when you get a big incident with lots of radio traffic, we'll key up and get that annoying beep sound, meaning I can't transmit. And sometimes it's important I get that out immediately. So with our chat feature, obviously I can have multiple conversations with multiple groups without that stuff that stop or interference. Um, from that point as well, is with our scheduling feature, now I can ask those departments to say they want to maybe break up in shifts, even though they're volunteer. We know who's going to be available to say fill sandbags, remove down trees, uh, whatever might need to be done at any given time. So I really just encourage people to start looking at our system on a bigger scale and look at those possibilities. And if they ever have questions on any of this, they can contact any member of our team here and we'll be happy to discuss how they can look at our system in a much bigger, broader picture. So let's talk a little bit more about that dispatch screen that you referred to. Okay. So what, what that is, is that's a consolidated screen where in, in one system, the dispatchers, the regional coordinators, can all see in one screen every agency that's in their region that uses I am responding. So, that's correct. So what are the types of things that they can see on that end off of that screen? Thank you, yeah. So one of those is our map marking features. Those dispatchers can actually point out to us before we arrive in certain areas what we might have as far as pre-plans are. If there's a geofence where we've outlined a given area, for example, especially that plays into the flooding we talked about a little while ago. Uh, they can actually see that as well as the EMA director and then we can also edit that on the ground in real time as actual boots on the ground first responders. Uh, so, so that's going to be valuable as well as the dispatch center can also now message us as well. So again, it's a unified communication that becomes so valuable on a large scale incident like that. So Mike, one of the things that you talked about was, was the, the ability for agencies to have these in-app chat conversations between agencies that are, that are interconnected. There's also some other ways that we can communicate region-wide too, like through our dispatch screen. Can you talk a little bit about what the messaging system is that's built within the dispatch screen itself? Sure. So they have the availability to actually send up, sorry, start up a template so for example if it's going to be something maybe a time update stamp or something they want to generically message us at given times they have templated mails they can send out or messages rather they have scheduled messages so if they want to schedule it for say the updated current status at the next shift's beginning uh, situation like that that, that really be benefit of that so so this is a messaging tool that each agency each individual agency has a messaging system within their system that their members manage all of their contact information within and set up their own messaging groups within this dispatch screen they're able to tap into those same messaging systems where they're then able to message across their whole region without having to manage any of those messaging lists because the members are all doing it. So so am I right that nobody on the regional end has to do any of this list maintenance or member management at all on their end? It's just live and ready for them to use. Correct, correct. Each individual agency would have already had their members established, what groups they belong to, whether they're officers or operators or chief level. Uh, so the dispatch centers can actually focus in on who they need to send those messages to without actually having to do that over. So that's then going to work for all of their off-air messaging that they want to do, but, but this can also be is something that can also be used if, if something were to happen and their primary communication system goes down, this is something they can roll over to in just literally a matter of seconds and reach out to every emergency provider within their region, 
through this system. So it's basically a full redundant communication system that we're just placing in their hands, right? That's true, yes. They can do both. They can actually message, which would be more a non-urgent message, and they also have the ability to what we call self-dispatching. So if their CAD were to actually go down or come offline for some reason, they can actually create true alerts through our system where we would send that alert to all those individuals just like it came from CAD without a flaw. And when we provide a system to a dispatch center, what's the cost of the dispatch center? Nothing. That? We give that to them and we hope that they use it and uh, including EMAs, we do the same for them as well. Okay. So anytime that there is an agency in your dispatch region that uses I am responding, we will provide the dispatch screen component of that to the dispatch center at absolutely no cost. If you'd like any more information about that, by all means, reach out to Mike or any member of our sales team. They'd be happy to talk to you about that more. Thank you.